Before anyone even thought about scaling up to a megawatt monster, the core concept had to be proven right at a smaller level. That leads us to the initial pilot test. I'm really curious about the scale and you know the precise setup of this early stage because mm -hmm. that's where the proof of concept really is. So what did this initial pilot look like? Give us the breakdown. Absolutely. The pilot project was really designed as that real world validation. Can this actually work before you commit to a much larger investment? The course setup, it consisted of 10 Antminer S19J Pro rigs. Now for those maybe new to the specifics, an Antminer S19J Pro, it's a type of ASIC miner. Yeah. Application-specific integrated circuit. Right, built just for mining. Exactly. Custom built for one purpose, Okay. solving Bitcoin's cryptographic puzzles. And each of these machines, they're quite powerful, running at about 95 terahashes per second, THS. Okay, 95 THS per machine. Yeah. And terahashes per second, it sounds like a lot. And it is. It's basically how many calculations, trillions of calculations, a miner can perform every second trying to find the next Bitcoin block. Yeah. The higher the hash rate, the better your chances of earning Bitcoin. So 95 THs is like having a super fast sprinter. And you had 10 of them. 10 of them. So combined, that brought the total hash rate for the pilot to about 0.95 petahashes per second, PHs. Okay, nearly a petahash. So almost a quadrillion calculations a second. That's not insignificant for a pilot. Not at all. Significant computing power. Now, to power these rigs, the solar components were also specific, chosen really for cost efficiency, you know, without sacrificing the proof of concept. Mm -hmm. We're talking 50 kilowatts of solar panels. And what's particularly interesting here is they weren't brand new top of the line panels. Ah, OK. How'd you get them? They were acquired from an auction lot, which uh, significantly brought down the initial capital expenditure, the CapEx, for the panels themselves mm -hmm. to around $4,000, actually. Wow. OK. That's lean. Very lean. For the inverter which is that crucial piece converting DC from the panels to AC for the miners, we used 11.4 kilowatt Solar 6 inverter. Robust, efficient model, often used in smaller commercial setups. And since it's daytime only, there's another crucial component for managing power fluctuations, right? And brief periods without sun, that's the battery. For this pilot, a 24 kilowatt Nissan Leaf salvage pack was used. Cost about uh, $1,000. A salvage pack from an electric car. Exactly. Again, yeah. speaks directly to the focus on cost efficiency in this proof of concept phase. Shows you don't necessarily need brand new high-end stuff to prove viability. So you combine all that, the miners, the auction panels, the inverter, the salvage battery, the total all-in CapEx for this initial pilot project came in at approximately $14,000. $14,000. That is remarkably lean for proving out such an ambitious concept. That's really interesting. Okay, so that's the hardware breakdown. Cost efficiency, clearly a priority. But what truly makes an off-grid daytime-only system work beyond just having the gear is the automation, right?